Cardi B addresses offset side baby rumors. What up, y'all? It's your girl Cardi B. It's your girl Cardi B. It's a lot of nosy people here. There's 94,000 people here. Wow. So, hey, guys. So, today, I wanted to talk. All right. This is not crazy stuff. I just want to, like, talk with you guys. Because I haven't talked with you guys. Don't you guys miss talking to me? Let me know if y'all miss talking with me. Let me know if you guys uh, miss talking to me. Let me know. Please don't post it. What the f*** are y'all talking about? Okay, guys. So, I want to say... Thank you, everybody, because uh, WAP, I want to say thank you, everybody, because WAP, it's, uh, it's WAP fourth week. It's WAP first week, fourth, one, two, three, four week on number one in the United States. And number two on the worldwide, wor worldwide chart, number, and it's the second week on the worldwide chart. So I'm really thankful. I'm really grateful that everybody um, showing WAP so much love. I have heard so many different versions of WAP. The country version, the emo rock and roll version, the 80s version. I have seen so many beautiful dances. I have seen people recreate the looks. And I just want to say thank you so much. Like, I, 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 me and Megan was not expecting all of this. I seriously, deep down in my heart, I just really wanted, uh, I just really wanted a, 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 a top 20 hit. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like I said, I didn't put out music for nine months. And for nine months, people was breaking down my spirit, telling me that um, it would never happen again, that I'm washed, that I'm this. So I'm happy that that happened. So, I want to talk about bloggers, right? So, um, this is so crazy to me because somebody that I know hit me up because somebody sent a blogger a story. I want to I wanna make this again. Send a blogger about stories claiming that I was f***ing somebody. Ooh, I haven't, I haven't got in a minute. I don't think I'm going to get in a minute. Somebody got to really impress me. Um, saying that I was somebody and saying that, you know, culture's daddy has a girl pregnant and that they heard a voice message of me, of me. They claim that they heard a voice message. They heard a, a message, a voice message of me telling a girl to get rid of a baby. Now, let me let me tell you something, right, guys? Let's say, God forbid, this man had a girl pregnant. Let's say, God forbid, this man ever had a girl pregnant, right? I am Cardi B. All right? I, I am Cardi B. And I don't know if you guys noticed, I have changed a lot. I don't know if you guys think I'm dumb, retarded, but one thing I will never do, if God forbid I ever find out this girl ever had a girl pregnant, like people claim, I will never call a bitch and tell her to get rid of a baby. Let me tell you something. I have million dollar deals and me doing that, knowing that people will record me will fuck up not only my deals, but deals for my child. So I will be fucking up my future and my child's future. So I will never be so dumb to call another woman to press her of a um, uh, man having her pregnant and definitely telling her to get rid of a kid. I will never ever in a million years do that the way that i don't be giving a f right now and i'm such at peace i if, if, let's say if i was in that scenario i would tell them good f luck mother f but let me tell you where that woman got that sh from look at this look at this look how somebody um all right so i have to blur these out right because 
Um, I don't want to put the names and everything. So a a, a fan or whatever the fuck or a, whatever the subscriber, they hit up with somebody that I know saying, "Hey, I have some information that can debunk this and that whole story about Offset and Cardi Baby." I don't want to look like troublemaker though. The information I have will expose and her vivid imagination. I did not. I inboxed T, but nobody responded. And the person said, hey, I'm not interested in booking this and that story. And that's probably why she didn't respond. I don't mind you sending me celebrity news about this and that. So this girl is, is she, this is a fan, right? And she subscribed how she was telling somebody else that, um, that how she be sending in stories and these stories are fake and from these fake stories that she be sending in they make their own sh it doesn't but i have sent a, a made-up opinion about said having a baby and cardi sleeping with a famous man i didn't know she was going to make it up this elaborate story i briefly talked about it yesterday so whole point is that people will make a fake stories that fans send them and make up a whole fucking lie so people will make up whole lies make up whole fake stories make up whole fake scenarios claiming that i call somebody out of a fucking lie out of an inbox that somebody sent them ain't that about a bitch I'm trying to find the other ones i'm trying to find the other one right that she she literally says i made this up as a, as of an opinion and i send it to her and she reported about it I'm trying to find it it's a lot of it it was look look if y'all read it there and says it was all an opinion i it was all an opinion i formed and she came up with the story of a woman hearing a voicemail of cardi saying the woman better get an abortion so somebody went and he made up a story that they heard my voice telling a girl to get an abortion and they also had a girl pregnant a, f a fan made that fake shit. a fan made that fake shit. and they went and reported that shit. And, and not only that but people magazine claimed that shit. and uh uh what's her name i think her name is b scott i love b scott so but i think that she should have like did her research on this better because people was just flooding me with oh i heard offset got a girl pregnant and this is where the whole shit came from ain't that but i can see my comments i don't know why ain't that about a bit uh is my life froze okay now i can see it ain't that about a bit that's why I be telling y'all, stop believing in what people be saying, these blogs be saying, especially blogs that have a certain type of hatred of me. Now, I want to address another bullshit that I heard. Now, another blogger claimed that I am getting a divorce for attention. And it's like, hmm... You think I'm going to pay a lawyer twenty thousand fucking dollars? And they're like, I just find this so funny that Cardi's getting a divorce around the time that she got a record called Me Gusta out. First of all, first of all, first of all, Me Gusta is not even my record. It's Anita's record. So I'm not even getting a huge piece of the song. So you mean to tell me that I'm going to put my baby's father my child's father go through i'm gonna I'm let my child's father go through scrutiny i get along with his mother very well you think i'm gonna do that to her son for attention why do i need attention you don't see that i have millions of followers do you see that i got the number one song in the fucking world why do i need attention why do i need stunts oh the last time she dropped wop she got into an argument with this blogger that was her friend. No, 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 no. I I got into a problem. I got into an argument with him through DMs. And that blogger decided to post our DMs. So I wasn't the one that was looking for clout or attention. I responded to him. So that's not me looking for attention if I have a problem with you through DM. And 
that blogger had 18,000 fucking followers. You think I'm going to use him for attention to drop WAP? Actually, me and my team was very upset because I felt like that shit is going to overshadow the fact that I'm going to drop my cover for my single with Megan tomorrow. But luckily, it didn't overshadow it. It wasn't a big deal. And it is what it is. The first time I ever spoke to Megan, I think it was like a... I think it was like 10 months ago. Uh, Jason Lee, he randomly FaceTimed me and he put Megan on the phone. And I'm like, oh, shit, what the f***? And, and I told her, I have this song. And I was talking about WAP. It's like, I have this song that I really want you in, but it doesn't have a hook. And she was like, so send it to me. I'll do the hook. And I'm like, okay. But I just didn't feel like the song WAP was ready. Like WAP was all over the place. Like the hook, now from the top, make it drop. It was after my first verse. And I didn't like the, the and I didn't like the hook. I came back to the song. I came back to the song and finished the song around um um quarantine time. I finished it around there. I've been having this song like already for almost a year. And, that, and the first time I spoke to Megan about it, it was like 10 months ago. And I, like I said, I always had the song in the ball. I just didn't like the hook. I came back to it around quarantine. It was finished. And then when I met up with Megan, I spoke to her a couple of days later. I gave her the song. She loved it. And as soon as she said that she loved it, I, it took me a, it took me like a week to plan out how I want things done. This, this, and that. I got me a choreographer. It took me a month to do the choreography. It took us two weeks for us to get our, our outfits. And because our outfits were custom made and came from Europe. This, this music video, this song, everything, it took time. When you take time in your work, it's going to do good. And that applies to any type of work. So stop making up excuses of why, I, of why my shit is successful. Take your time. I took nine months to put a record out. And th throughout those nine months, y'all was chewing me up, saying I was over. I took my sweet time, and look. Look where I'm at now. And I'm thankful and I'm grateful. Thankful and grateful. Be sure to like, um, comment, and subscribe. And, and um, so, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Like, cut it. Stop it. Why is there every single time that Cardi... It's, it's always Car, it's always a theory. Cardi is always a theory. It's always Cardi always have a motive. I'm, 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 really, I'm really a simple chick. I'm not out here doing shit for motives. I'm not, I'm not calculating anything now. Thanks for tuning in to Newborn Arrival.